Ladies, ladies, welcome to Karen's Anonymous. Uh, I'm so glad that you three could make it tonight. I know it's definitely been a tough time to be named Karen in 2020. And I want you to know that this is a safe space where you can share what your experiences have been. My name is Ed, last name G. I've been in this field for a long time. I've, I've worked with Becky's. I've worked with Kevin's, um, and this year it's all about the Karens. So why don't we start uh, over here with, uh, with you? Hi, everybody. My name is Karen, as you know. I'm so grateful for this group. I really, really am, um, because I was thinking I was going to change my name back to my original birth name. It's Karina, and I thought it was, you know, not so cool when I was a kid and growing up. And I wanted to be Karen. I wanted to be like the rest of the, the kids, you know? I didn't want that old world name. I had no idea. First, I thought it was a, you know, something nice. Like, oh, you know, like a Karen. It's a nice thing. It's not so nice. No, no. And uh, I'm having problems with it. My grandkids are making fun of me. Mm. Nona Karen, you're such a Nona Karen. And I was like, hold up. Mm -mm, no. So now they do it behind my back. It's terrible. I'm not happy. It is. It is terrible. And, and, and thank you for sharing. I know that's a really hard thing to, to live with. But I think that through this sharing, you're really going to find healing through your name. And um, just thank you, thank you for being brave and sharing that. Sure. Let's do you guys mind if I smoke? I mean, you know. It's, it, we're on Zoom, so that's Yeah, fine. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay, because I had a, a rough day at the shop. I bet, I bet. Oh, smoking and drinking. Oh, that's fun. Gotta have my wine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and move on uh, to, to, to the window here below me. Oh, well, hello. Thank you for uh, bringing us all together here. I'm Karen as well, of course. Uh, and uh, I come from a long line of Karens is really what it comes down to. I was named after my grandmother and she after her grandmother. And this has really been an unfortunate circumstance for all of us. Uh, and especially for me, of course, as a businesswoman, I've actually started an entire chain of businesses called Karen's Crafts. Craft K, of course. And my business has tanked, of course, ever since the name is in the business title. And nobody wants to do crafts with Karen anymore. That is really tough. That is really, really hard. And, and I think through this meeting, you'll find the tools that you need to conquer those feelings. So again, just thank you for, thank you for being brave and sharing. Our final Karen. Hi, I'm Karen also, and um, I, um, I'm a mother of three beautiful boys and one darling daughter. Um, however, they haven't been lovely to me lately. Um, they don't want to be seen with me anymore on campus at school. And um, in the PTA, I've been ostracized as well. None of the mothers will allow me near them. They've stopped talking to me and they gossip about me. And it's all because they don't want to be associated with me because my name is Karen. You should talk to somebody about that. Well, and that's what we're here for, is to talk to each other about this. And, you know, my, my degree is in the social behaviors of the cultural zeitgeist. Yeah, who's that? I don't know that person. I want to ask, what, what is one experience that you've had maybe this week that really challenged you? I have a beauty shop, okay? Not operating now, of course. And I've got women calling me. I have a couple of women who said they'll go outside, they'll do it any way they can. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. Not what I want, I want to obey the laws. That's my thing. I'm a good citizen. I'm not like, I'm not like other people who would break the law. Mm. Now, when you say other people, Karen, my inner alert is going off. 
staying within the confines of the law, that's great. That's a good thing. But you don't need to compare yourself to others. I think it's okay to have an inner alert. I think we all should have more inner alerts. I think that people need to understand there's a way of doing things. Right. Again, my inner alert, and I should preface in case many of you don't know, I am a black man. And so while you may have your alert of, of oh, wrongdoing, my inner alert says, Karen nearby, Karen nearby, pull out your cell phone, start filming. And I just don't want to have to do that here. So, so when you have those moments of comparing, I want you to stop, breathe and think, is this me being Karen who I am or is this me being a Karen? All right, mull that over a little bit. Let's go down over here uh, to our second Karen. What about you? What's an experience that you've had this week that really challenged you? Well, I was at the grocery, you know, with my grandmother Karen and my daughter Karen, all three of us Karens. And uh, I was just trying to pick out some chocolate to, you know, make myself feel better. And they didn't have the chocolate that I usually, you know, I usually like the little Ghirardelli squares with the raspberry filling oh, inside. Love those. And Target was out. They were out and, you know, I was already feeling so fragile from everything. And so what did you do? I asked to speak to the manager, of course. Karen, Karen, that is being a Karen. No, that, there's nothing wrong with that. That chocolate is the only thing that makes me feel good on my bad days. Okay, and so when that is the case and that chocolate there is not on the shelf, you have to think maybe they don't have any. You could ask to speak to any employee, ask them if they have it in the back. And Karen, if they don't have the chocolate in the back, it's okay. There are other chocolates that you can eat. That's what the manager told me when he came out. He said they didn't have any and that there was a whole aisle of chocolates. And I told, I told him that none of those chocolates make me feel the same way that the raspberry filling one does. Karen, I have to ask you a very difficult question. When the manager told you that there were no chocolates that you wanted, did you knock anything over? Well, well, yes. I, I did knock over the, the mint filling chocolates because those are disgusting. They don't deserve to be on the shelf. They're taking up perfectly good real estate for the raspberry filling one. And, and that's a valid feeling, but that knocking over of the chocolate, that is, that is not what a, that's not, that's not being Karen. Is that who you are? Is that who Karen is? Or is that you being a Karen? Yeah. I don't get it. I, I think if Target always had it, they should have it. There's a reason they don't. Why? Why? It is our third Karen's turn to speak. Well, first of all, I just want to say I didn't even notice that you're a man of color. I don't. No, me neither. I just wanted uh -oh. to make that clear. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's, let's, let's cut that out because yeah. I am a man of color. In fact, I'm a black man. And so when you say I don't see color, that means you don't see me. And I want you to see me. I want you to see my color. Just don't judge me by my color. Well, I was on the elementary school campus just checking in on my kids. It was lunchtime and I just wanted to make sure that they were okay. Mm -hmm. And I saw them from afar because they won't let me on campus anymore. They say I'm too much of a nuisance, that the kids need space. How awful. I just don't understand how much I love them. So I sat in my parked car in the parking lot and watched them from afar. And I saw that one of them didn't have any lunch. And I could have sworn that I packed them a lunch. I always pack them a lunch. I'm a very good mother. I'm sure you are. I am. And... And so then I saw, I saw Johnny go up to the teacher and say something and the teacher escorted him into the food line. And it was the back of the food line. Can you believe it? 
my poor little Johnny, who's in starving, whose lunch is gone, probably stolen by some of those other kids from the non-gifted program. And, and they had him stand at the back of the line. And wait, so of course, believe you me, I stormed onto that campus and I went and I walked into the front of the line and I demanded that Johnny be served before all these other children. Good for you. Okay, no, 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 not good for you, not good for you. That is, that is being a Karen. Karen, you, 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 you forgot to pack your child a lunch. I did not, how dare you? I did not forget to pack him a lunch. One of those other kids must have stolen it. One of those other kids, those non-gifted kids, right? Is mm -hmm. that what you mean? Karen, I just have to say, you're being a Karen. Okay, when you when you storm into the school and demand that your kid gets to go to the front of the line, that is that's that's inappropriate. You know what? Maybe people like you don't care if the kids eat or not. Okay, so here's the deal. When Karen's say things like people like you, all right, that's when my inner alert goes off the charts. Your inner alert is very, very active, sir. <laughs> I think we might need to speak to your manager because this is not how a meeting like this should be run. Here, 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 here. I just don't think you're understanding us. Or like maybe we have a choice of a different moderator the next time. No, no, you don't get a, you don't, you don't get a choice. All right, this is 2020. I am here, I am the moderator, and you are gonna listen to what I say. Stop being Karens, Karen, and Karen, and Karen. I, I have PhDs on my wall right here and I'm about to knock them down, all right? Because my inner Karen is coming out. I don't feel very supportive. I'm gonna leave a strongly worded Yelp review after this. Oh yeah, I'm making a couple of phone calls for sure. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. leap meeting. Ladies, it feels safer in here now, yeah? It does feel safer, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>